WBF starts with breaking news. It's WBF News at 6. I'm Rachel Bogle. Thanks for joining us. I'm Eric Weisfeld. We continue to follow breaking news tonight right here in Horry County, where a new development is shining fresh light on a months old deadly shooting. Yeah, our Ali Espinosa joins us in the control room, breaking down what we've learned just today and telling us what may have sparked this fatal encounter. Ali. Eric, Rachel, we got our hands on five 911 calls today, capturing the lead up to and aftermath of a deadly Longs area shootout. Before we play you these clips, we'd like to warn you, they may be hard to listen to. Oh my God, Oh my what God. Ha what happened, ma'am? What happened? Did oh he fire the gun? Ma'am, ma'am. Oh my God. Ma'am, I've got to move. I've got to move. Bystanders left in horror September 9th when an apparent act of road rage boiled into a deadly gunfight between two drivers on Highway 9 in Longs. North Myrtle Beach business owner Weldon Boyd fired the fatal shot, but denies starting the confrontation in these calls, blaming that on Scott Spivey, the man he'd end up killing. Hey, I've got a guy pointing a gun at me driving. Um, we're armed as well. He keeps throwing the gun in our faces, acting like he's about to shoot us. If he keeps this up, I'm going to shoot him. Listen, this dude shoots at me. We're going to put him down. Even though an initial police report didn't identify him, Boyd brought himself into the front of the case on social media, publicly thanking officers for their work. That move brought SLED into the investigation, but state authorities would never charge Boyd ruling there simply wasn't enough evidence. While Spivey's family has yet to go on camera after the 33-year-old's death, they have privately told me they're not happy with that decision and would like authorities to take a closer look at the case. He's stopping. Hey, we're about to have a shootout, dude. This dude's got a gun. He's got a gun. Again, Boyd was not charged in this case. He and his attorney declined to speak on the release of these new calls. Spivey's family released a statement saying they are devastated that there will be no criminal justice for their loved one and that they will continue to fight for justice. We have the 911 calls and a complete timeline on this case on WMBFnews.com. In the control room, Ali Espinosa, WMBF News.